Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and let's start with Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Marcher. He'll become a mighty Inquisitor and carry out the Emperor's will. Choose one of the multiple classes and take part in brutal combat encounters. Embark on a huge variety of missions with your fellow agents and fight through a single player story campaign. It is set in a haunted fortress monastery which hides a terrible secret from the past of the Inquisition. Yeah, they probably have put pineapple into potato salad. In general, this is a very nice game, but keep in mind that it is best played with a gamepad, because playing with keyboard and mouse is really not as comfortable. Although some people could argue about that because there are many gamers in both gamepad and keyboard camps. Although let's be fair, gamepad camp is way bigger. And the gameplay, the main thing of every game, is highly addictive. It will burn tens or even hundreds of your hours even quicker than alcohol does. People on Steam are saying that this game is a no-brainer for those who like Diablo. It's basically the same just in Warhammer universe. Dead Cells Overwhelmingly positive reviews should lock your attention even if you don't like pixel art graphics. And this game can stand strong behind the name of the style, it's true art. The game is really beautiful, just like you my friend, but graphics are just one side of the coin. People on Steam are saying that this roguelite metroidvania is probably the best game of the genre. Along with the graphics, you will get great music and gameplay more addictive than potato salad. People are also joking that here using the machete and pistol weapon is the closest thing we'll ever get to blood worn on PC. And speaking about platforms, it should be an amazing experience on Steam Deck. You can also acquire it on Switch, but we all know that Nintendo is not very fond of discounts, so the Steam version it is. Hunt Showdown here you'll play alone or in teams as you search for clues to help you track nightmarish monsters and compete against other hunters who are after the same reward. Here you'll have to kill and banish your target, which will be some really horrible monster, but you will treat it as a sack of money instead. Collect the bounty and then get ready for the showdown. Once the bounty is in your hands, every other hunter on the map will be after your prize. Hunt has a very positive review score and it's very addictive, although it has a really steep learning curve and there is a huge chance that you will be shredded to bits by other more experienced players. Despite that, almost everyone is saying that this game is awesome and super fun. They always run. This is a very nice 2D platformer where you will control a free armed mutant hunting for the most dangerous bounties in the galaxy. Its inhabitants have been swarmed by crime since the fall of the Empire. Being able to find anyone and anywhere has become a highly prized skill. And that, my friend, is the skill you possess. Some bounties are rewarded with money, others with valuable information that you can use to find the people who set you on this forsaken path. Having three arms lets you deal with more enemies at once and makes for a persuasive argument in any sky. Use your third arm to perform targeted attacks and throws, manipulate the environment, destroy obstacles and wreck enemies. The game has very positive review score and people are saying that it is really fun, although it can be challenging for new players of the genre. Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. This is an adventure with unique gameplay that blends investigation, action and exploration. It will test the limits of your nerves and intelligence. Yeah, this game is not for the faint of heart. The puzzles can be devilishly difficult, and the plot is full of twists and turns that will keep you guessing until the very end. You'll have to track down evil in the darkest corners of London while playing as the great detective, an untangly web of intrigue leading to the final stunning revelation about the evil that lurks in the city. Is it real evil or is it just Scooby-Doo level evil? I don't know. Well, I do, but this is not a channel of spoilers. This is a channel of games and potato salad, approved by your sister. The House of Da Vinci 2 in this adventure puzzle game, you will become an apprentice of the famous Leonardo da Vinci. He'll have to solve handcrafted mechanical 3D puzzles and discover hidden secrets. Also navigate through environments of the Italian Renaissance period and travel through time to influence your surroundings. The game features hundreds of objects, many 3D puzzles and mechanical brain twisters waiting to be unraveled. People on Steam are saying that puzzles are really interesting and the graphics are nice for the eye. But sometimes this game becomes just a pixel hunting experience, when you just randomly click on everything trying to make something happen. Despite that, more than 90% of the reviews are positive, so if you like the genre, this game may be perfect for your evening. Atom RPG Trudograd 
or as I call it, Soviet Fallout Union. Because it is basically a Fallout game, just here instead of a Wanderer you will be called Comrade a lot. You will be thrown into alternative history. In 1986 the Soviet Union and the Western Bloc were destroyed in mutual nuclear bombings, and you are one of the survivors of the nuclear holocaust. Your mission is to explore the wild and wondrous world of the Soviet wasteland. Because you know, you can get wasted here in so many meanings. For example, once I just ran into a minefield and died. I just ignored some danger mine signs and went to communist paradise with angry people standing in long lines to buy some doctor sausage made from cardboard, perestroika everywhere and Belamor canal cigarettes. Or maybe to communist hell full of capitalist money, sex and supermarkets. Anyway, here you will stream for the better communists tomorrow and along with that you will have to investigate stuff, various stuff, a lot of stuff. Trudograd is the second part of Atom RPG but it's completely standalone piece, you don't need to know anything from the first part. And to be honest, I like Trudograd way more than the first part, so I'm recommending it instead. Also keep in mind that this is not a Russian game, you can buy it and you won't be supporting Putin in any way. That is great. This is a single-player, non-combat cyberpunk RPG. You are a game detective who solves crimes inside virtual worlds by using your wits to gather information from your witnesses and suspects. Also get to the bottom of deceptive schemes, save lives and investigate the relationships between virtual worlds and their inhabitants. The game continually adapts to your choices and never judges, just like your dog does. Also it sounds a bit like Disco Elysium and that's a great thing. Although keep in mind that here you will not find any battles and no fighting is available. Pick it up only if you like to read and carefully analyze sentences in dialogues. Noita. This is the game which will allow you to dive straight into adventure without sinking many hours preparing for battle. Noita is a magical action roguelite game set in a world where every pixel is physically simulated. Here you'll fight, explore, melt, burn, freeze and evaporate your way through the procedurally generated world using spells you created by yourself. So Fetus Delitus and Vodkus Autos of Thinus Eros is an option at last. You'll explore a variety of environments ranging from coal mines to freezing wastelands while delving deeper in search for unknown mysteries and use your magic to crush your enemies and manipulate the world around you. Game is really fun and is a rare owner of overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. That alone should put this game onto your radar. The Eternal Cylinder you know how we are always whining about all the games being the same. All the games copy other games and then some copies become even more popular than the originals and then everyone is copying the copies until the cycle repeats itself. Yeah, that's not the case with the Eternal Cylinder. I doubt that I have seen anything like this. The game is obviously inspired by some crazy artist or made by one. So he will control this cute creature and wander around with various tasks. But the true meaning of this game lies in its name. An enormous robot rolling cylinder is approaching, and you, along with everything around, are its pizza dough. It is a mobile megastructure of unknown origin. It has destroyed and absorbed countless civilizations over the billions of years of its existence, and will do the same to you and your land. It can be delayed, but it has never been truly stopped. Well, maybe bigger being can stop it. W what do you mean by bigger being? I'm talking about your mama. <laughs> oh, shut up. So, I guess if you fail, everyone will die. Game has very positive reviews and it's really underrated. Also, the soundtrack is free to download. That is not what you see every day in this greedy world, that's for sure. The Red Strings Club this is an indie cyberpunk narrative game about fate and happiness. Here you will spend a significant amount of time bartending and impersonating people on the phone to take down a corporate conspiracy. Here one mighty altruistic corporation is on the verge of releasing a system that will eliminate depression, anger and fear from society. However, not everyone is happy about it. You think that all these actions are just mere brainwashing. And if you want to have depression and be angry about it, nobody will take it away from you. So here you will uncover a mysterious corporate program that promises a blissful existence while debating what happiness means and where are the limits of tampering with it. People on Steam are saying that this game makes you think about things. If you are not used to thinking, it may hurt a bit, but you will be alright, I promise. The game also has beautiful retro graphics and engaging characters, although some mechanics are weird and unusual. The game will take about 4 hours out of your boring life, and for this price, it's quite okay, I guess. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened 
If you like Sherlock Holmes and Lovecraftian stuff, this may be your spoon of potato salad. You become Sherlock Holmes and find yourself at the heart of terrifying Cthulhu mythos as you investigate a series of mysterious disappearances in Europe and the United States. Those are apparently linked to a dark cult that worships an ancient god. Whatever their plan is, you must put a stop to it, or, you know, face unspeakable consequences. Yeah, all that sounds nice, but can I join the cult? Can I worship the ancient god as well? You know, what if Sherlock decided that his life of investigations is boring and being a servant for a dig on himself is a more fulfilling experience? I doubt that, but it would be nice if you could actually choose the unexpected way. Stone Shot I was recommended this game by one of my Patreon supporters and since then I keep an eye on it. The game is still in early access, but it has a great potential. Stone Shard is a turn-based RPG set in an open world where you can create your own character without any limitations. Well, that is what developers say. I'm pretty much sure that you can't create beer or vodka bender here. Or, or can you? The game is set in a grim environment. Villages lie in ruins, dungeons are infested with monsters and old roads are all abandoned. Although Stone Shard presents many opportunities you can fulfill contracts, hunt for treasure, trade in a variety of goods and travel the land to earn your fortune. Sadly, it has this terrible moving system, so it's up to you if you can actually handle that. And if you are some kind of masochist, keep in mind that in this game you can choose to play in permadeath mode and die once and for all. Call of Juarez Gunslinger this one and other games of the franchise are probably the most popular and well-known first-person shooters set in the Wild West. Here you will play as the best gunslinger West ever saw and blur the lands between man and myth. With a gun holster tied to your leg, become a ruthless bounty hunter on a journey made of all-out gun battles. Master the art of blasting pistols, shooting rifles and dodging bullets. Metaphorically, right? No, it's exactly like in The Matrix. You can slow time and actually dodge bullets. How cool is that? Also, I really like the narration part of the game. It is trying to hold your attention even when nothing is happening. Let's say you climb the ladder, but at the same time you are listening to the story and that is really cool. People are comparing the style with an action RPG game Bastion, which also has the narration implemented. This is a really great invention and I wish that more games had something like that. Well, with the ability to turn it off, of course. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 if you were looking for a new, story-rich AAA game, search no more. Here you, as young Sherlock Holmes, will struggle to prove yourself as you navigate an exotic, dangerous island in the Mediterranean to investigate the mystery of your mother's death. Your legacy is written by the decisions you make. Deception, violence and deduction are just a few resources in your arsenal. The game is set in an open world and the discount is really not so bad this time. And now, thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!